Hey folks, how's everybody doing? This is Lee with the Live All Good podcast. Uh, in our Spotlight series coming up, you get to hear from uh, the Byers family. They are a family here locally in D.C. They are owners of a boutique that creates uh, natural bath and body products. That's right, all natural bath and body products. Uh, so coming up next, you get to hear from them and uh, how they got started. All right, we'll be right back. All right, welcome back, everybody. After that short break to the Live All Good podcast, this is uh, our Spotlight series. And today we are here with the owners of the Honey Bunny Boutique. We are here with the Byers family. We have Andre. Hello, Andre. How you doing? Doing well. And yourself? All right. Good. We have Lee. I'm here. Hi. All right. We have Naya. Hello. And we have Zuri. Hi. Oh, man. So, so glad for you guys to join me today. So uh, my, my first question is, Give me the this story. Like, how did Honey Bunny Boutique come about? Well, um, before Zuri was born, Mommy and Daddy were looking at the ingredients of what they were putting on my skin. And they were like, what is this? And is this good for my child's skin? Oh. So, then, so then we decided to make our own product. And then we decided to share it with the world. Nice. I love that. So it, it really came from uh, you guys, Andre and Lee, you guys are really obviously paying attention to what you were putting on uh, Naya's skin when she was younger. And it just made sense to, to move forward with that, with sharing it with everyone, as Naya said. Right. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. We wanted to, okay. to, to give them the, um, the, the, the best that we could give them. And we thought that we could give them the best. Nice. Yes, we were looking at the ingredients on uh, moisturizers and no lie, we would spend twenty five, thirty dollars for a moisturizer because it <laughs> was deemed safe by the manufacturer. Sure. Get it in our hands, read the labels and it would still have toxic ingredients in it and even if they said it was safe mm -hmm. they would have ingredients that i couldn't pronounce i didn't know what it was and so we were just like well let's let's see if we can create our own with just basic simple ingredients that you often find in the kitchen stuff that we right. know is safe and right. like we, can, right. we can pronounce and let's just put that on our baby man that's that that's that's awesome that's nice so when you guys first started did you start with the physical brick and mortar store or did you actually start online first? Um, well, no, we did not start in the brick and mortar. We actually started in the farmer's market and then worked oh. our way up. Oh, okay. So you started with your products and you went uh, bought a, or rented like a space at the farmer's market and uh, uh, built from there. Nice. Okay. Yeah. And so part of this he doesn't really remember is that first we Lee was making it and using it on Naya. Right. And we we're like, maybe other people would benefit from this too. And so then we're thinking, well, let's start totally. a business, but then started just giving it to family, you know, trying sure. out one family and friends, just in the event that something went completely awry. Uh, they wouldn't sue us and would still love us anyway. <laughs> I, was, I was personally the guinea pig of every product. And I would, I, would, I would often tell people if I walk outside and just spontaneously combust, it's because I've got six trial products with me at one given time. I was, so after a number of times of me not spontaneously combusting as I walked outside, then we started going to the farmer's market. Right, you, you, you had to have a test subject first. I got it. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And that, and that just happened to be me for a good long while. <laughs> well, you know, a, a father's work is, is never done. You know what I mean? I, I get it. I get it. <laughs> that is true. That uh, uh, I think I'm just the least valuable. I'm the most <laughs> likely to. No, you see the bills. <laughs> 
<laughs> so so there's some value just just you had to test i got you oh, exactly. man. a little value that's hilarious well i can say as as also a customer right um and by the way we are not doing this podcast because i'm a customer i really believe in in your products and your store but as a customer oh you're welcome uh i i really appreciate how you do have the descriptions of all your products, but I also appreciate how you do not claim to be, uh, you know, uh, uh, doctors or certified uh, um, dermatologists. So you you can only answer to what your customers tell you about, hey, this product works or whatever products you've tried yourselves. I really appreciate that because that's, um, it's very transparent. It's very honest. And I think that's what keeps customers coming back. Do you find that as well? That keeps customers coming back because of your your transparency and, and honesty with your products? I, I, I think so. Like even today, even though we're closed, the gentleman knocked on the front door and mm-hmm. said that his wife has psoriasis. And do we yeah. have anything for psoriasis? And I was open and honest. And I said, I'm not a dermatologist. I'm not Correct. a doctor. None of us are. Right. Uh, so all I can do is give you the feedback that other customers have given us and direct you to product based on what other customers have said. I want mm-hmm. you to try it. I may even give you a sample just to try it and then give us feedback. And then as we continue to build the experiences of various customers, I can then tell other people in the future, well, I've had 10 people try this and it seemed to benefit right. them in certain, some certain way. That's the only way we've been able to direct people to various product is just purely based on uh, user experience, personal user user experience and from customers. That is, that is fantastic. Uh, quick question for anyone. Um, are your products specifically for people of color or can anybody, or are they made for anyone? They're made for everyone. Anyone can use them. Any race, any gender, everyone. Fantastic. Even, even with people um, who are black or white. I love it. That is all inclusive. I love it. Very cool. So I have a question for Zuri. If, if you know this, Zuri, how did the name Honey Bunny come about? How did you guys come up with that name? Um, it was my sister's old nickname, nickname that mommy and daddy used to call her when I was unborn. Oh, that's so I guess when you guys open your second store, it'll be from your nickname, Zuri. <laughs> Would that be right? <laughs> nice. Yeah. So, so I should have introduced you all as Andre, Lee, Zuri, and Honey Bunny. Would that be right? Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Leave out Naya. <laughs> so, Naya and Zuri, I have a few questions for you all, if you don't mind. So, Naya, how old are you? Eleven. And Zuri, how old are you? Six. Nice. What does it feel like being business owners at your age? Um, well, it's pretty awesome. I get paid and, you know, there's some serious and cool bragging rights. <laughs> I, I can imagine. I can imagine. Zuri, how do you feel? I feel really happy. Um, I'm helping my family with um, these products. And, and you're I not just helping your family. You're helping many of us out here, too. Yes. Very much appreciated. So, uh, what is, Zuri, what is your favorite product to make? My favorite product to, it is to make is bath bombs. Oh, nice. Okay. Why, why is that your favorite? It's because that I'm doing with my dad and it's really simple. Oh, that's awesome. And Naya, what is your favorite product to make? The facial masks. The facial masks. Okay. Yeah. And, and why is that? Because um, whenever I'm like putting it into the containers or just like 
<laughs> or just like stirring it around, it will just make a huge mess everywhere. Oh, so so I'm hearing that you guys get messy when you're making these products. Does that happen ever? <laughs> All yeah. the time. When, when I'm stirring um the when I'm stirring it, sometimes I accidentally um um flip it out of the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they've got this whole uh, I'm a child uh, excuse they've got going on. Naya, <laughs> Naya's been holding on to this excuse for a good five years. And I'm just like, no, no, you're too big to yeah. make the mess that you're making. I, I'm not falling for that any longer. Not, it's been the same at, excuse for five years. Not at 11. I don't yeah, think exactly, so. Exactly. <laughs> and Zuri, we might give you a pass at six, but. You know, I think you guys just like having fun making a mess, but that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. You know? And Daddy, every single time I make a mess, Daddy's like, clean this up. But then when I'm not making a mess, um, <laughs> when I'm making a mess, putting um, trash on the floor, I have to clean it up. Like, why me? I'm not the one who's making a mess. Oh, well, you know what, Ni uh, Zuri, sorry. Um, I'm the youngest in my family, too. And you know what? A lot of times, the youngest has to do all the cleanup. That's what happens. I tell her, it slides downhill. I'm telling you. I'm <laughs> telling you. So, Naya and Zuri, what do you guys like to do when you're not working for the, the, the business? What do you like to do in your free time? Well, in our free time, we mostly just like to play video games and watch TV at the same time. You know, uh, just uh, play Having our brains rot within seconds. <laughs> as soon as we sit down, our brains just turn to mush. <laughs> and my, my and my head hurts right now. Oh, I oh! Think, I just I just feel like I need to play right now. <laughs> yeah, it's been hours since we last played video games. Yeah, oh. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to tell my head, no, I can't watch and play video games and multitask. <laughs> well, I promise then we, we won't keep you too long because I don't want to be the reason you can't play video games today. I don't want to be that reason. Oh, man, you guys are cracking me up. This is see, this is so fun. You see that definition of multitasking is playing video games and watching TV at the same time. Yeah, sometimes when we're playing, well, sometimes when we're playing, we, we, um, we're playing and look at the TV while we're playing at the same exact time. <laughs> All right, so, so, so when, when mommy and daddy tell you that's enough for that, you, you mm -hmm. got to shut that off, then what do you do? What do and you do? then we go back to what we were doing before. All right, so boy, when you're not working in the business, and you're not playing video games and watching TV at the same time, what, what, do, you do? what do you like to do? Can I sleep? Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Zuri sleeps, and what else do we do? Um, well, sometimes we do rockets. Oh, nice. Yeah, we have like this whole rocket graveyard upstairs. <laughs> gotcha. So, so you've been doing that for a while. Okay. Yeah. And then That's other cool. times we were doing bioplastic. Mm hmm. And oh. then, um, like, the end of every month, we do the income statement to see how much money we've earned. And I just think that, like, mm, like one of my favorite things to do. I, that's pretty cool. <laughs> well, I don't really like doing that because it takes so much work. You hardly help. Last time I did it all by myself. Well, it's because I don't like it. I don't like doing it. It's so boring. So we, we've, we've taught them how to, because it... For, to be an entrepreneur, they've got to understand more than just making product. Like you sure. can be an employee and only manufacture, uh, sure. but you've got to understand the business side of it. And so profit and loss statement, income statement, beginning to teach them how to understand the health of one's business and how to calculate all those, uh, right. those, those spreadsheets. And so, yeah, Zuri is absolutely right. We would get on the, on the chalkboard and, and itemize every uh, uh, transaction and catalog everything and then why Naya is so excited about it. I think what fuels Naya's desire to do the income statement is that she <laughs> understands that they're paid a percentage on of excess cash flow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. and that's so she's that's, like, that's mm -hmm. definitely an incentive. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. She's like, what is that number, Dad? Let, let's get in here and do this income statement so we can see what that number is. 
That is uh, where, definitely incentive. Mm-hmm, where, where Zuri, she's still like, well, uh, I, all her needs are essentially met. She doesn't have any excess. Uh, well, she does have excess wants, but not, not yet. She, not yet. Exactly. Not yet. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, like so she's some, not as interested as Naya is. Like, um, some, um, like, um, um, when, when, when that Naya says, let's do the income statement, and I'm like, no, let's do it tomorrow. Then tomorrow, I'm like, no, let's do it tomorrow. And then the next day, I'm like, no, do it tomorrow. And, and then, then I just end up going. And then I just end up doing it by myself. You'll never yeah. know how much money you made. So, so Lee, I got a question for you because I think I just saw this today. As a matter of fact, um, you were guy. You guys were featured in. Was it an article or a magazine? Can you tell me about that? Um, it, it was, or was that was that today that you were featured in, or was it a previous article? I, I okay, think, the Washington Life article. Yes, I think that's what it was. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, I haven't gotten to read that yet. <laughs> oh, but I, I hope maybe I give you some good news. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I need to, to, to read that. Uh, I had gotten the chance at this point. Well, no but, problem. Yeah, we were always, you know, excited that we we're featured in some type of uh, uh, print article or, you know, podcast or wherever we can get the word out. But, yeah, I knew that we had been uh, featured on there. I just hadn't gotten a chance to. to so, I, I, yeah, I think that one's brand new. <laughs> Uh, have, okay. you been, have you been featured in any other? I've I've seen some things on your website, but can you talk to me about what other, uh, either articles or where else you've been featured before? Uh, yeah, we've been featured in the um, we've been in the Washington Post. Mm-hmm. Um, we've then the city paper, you know, some some newspapers that uh, circulate around Capitol Hill. You've definitely made an impact on our neighborhood for sure in Capitol yeah. Hill. And yeah. Yeah. I did remember seeing something and maybe uh, maybe Nye and Zuri remember this, too. The, um, something there was there's some pictures on your website with the mayor, Mayor Bowser. Who's Mayor yeah. Bowser? <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's the mayor of our city right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's when we won the um the the local first awards. DC Maker. Oh, yeah, the nice. DC Maker Awards. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so we won like um, I guess it was first place for um makers, DC okay. makers. Okay. You know, yeah. So that was really exciting. That's yeah, awesome. Night. Yeah. Yeah. That's and, awesome. And the, and the backstory to it is that they were up for the same award the year prior. And it was the very first time that the girls were up for an award. And we all went to the event and they didn't win. And then I cried. Oh, I can imagine. I, can imagine. Oh. I was such a sore loser. Oh, I had the largest <laughs> crocodile tears you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> what happened? So, I mean, it was a horrible experience, and I'm sitting there, and I'm like, oh, well, baby, man. you know, this is this is this is the lesson that you've got to learn. You're not going to win every single time, right. you know. Right. You just got to keep trying and 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 show them uh, what you're made of, and 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 maybe the thing will turn around. And, and sure come enough, back stronger you know, next time. Yeah, absolutely. And sure enough, the next year, look at uh, that. They they were up again and we went to the event and I told them, all right, so be prepared. Uh, you can still cry if you need to get it out. But, you know, we, that's we, right. You know, because it, it's going to hurt. But let's we, we tried. We tried even harder this past year. Wow. And the mayor, the mayor came and they are the only ones that the mayor uh, announced. She came. She started the event and she introduced the first uh, award and it went to them and and then the girls are just like yeah that's what it's that, about it's about sticking with it that is fantastic but that's and those are definitely good lessons to learn um as as your mom and dad can tell you as I've learned as I tried to tell my daughter too it's it's you stick with it and as long as you can look yourself in the mirror and know you did your best you can always be proud of what you're doing that's that's yeah. awesome yeah, I hope that we win next year. I, I, do, I do too. 
So I have another question about the business, actually. Um, um, I, I, I know you guys are local. Where do you ship to? We do have some some retail shops in California. Oh, okay. And we, you know, we do business with Whole Foods. Okay. Um, we, um, what other places do we just ship in California, right? Oh, Black and Green, we ship to them. Okay, okay. Um, but retail, where do you ship to your customers that order online? Oh, the retail side of it. Oh no! Either either or. That's that's fine. I did. That's oh, something okay. I did not know about. I didn't know you yeah. had any other retail partners. That's yeah, great. yeah, yeah. That's great. So so also like for our listeners, if if they got onto your website, I just wanted to make sure that people could order and, oh, yeah. and be able absolutely. to absolutely absolutely. Okay. We I found out yesterday we were shipping orders to Alaska. Okay. Amazing. Yeah. So it's amazing. not just the lower forty eight. Okay. Right, right. All over the country. That's fantastic. Do you do you ship internationally? Yeah, last month we got an order from Canada. Okay. Yeah. Oh, All right. Well, um, um, last time at my school, someone's um, um, a teacher's name was like he probably, um, I think he lives at Canada. And oh, so it might have been him. Okay. Because <laughs> I think, um, I think his name was Canada. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> So our, our, the podcast has definitely been listened to uh, in the UK a few times. Um, and also I will put up a, I put up a post before on my website and there's been some visitors uh, from China. So you nice. never know there, there might be some listeners who end up taking a look at your site and say, I'd like they to try this. So, yes, we should. As of as of great. two months ago, uh, our point of sale system enabled us to ship internationally, and so that was the first time we shipped to Canada. Because before we were getting requests, people, particularly people who were in the military, they were local and oh, they right. stopped other right. places. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. But then, and we weren't able to ship to them. Uh, but we, our point of sale system enabled us to ship uh, internationally just two months ago. So, at, no matter where your listeners are, we should be able to ship our product to them. I love it. That is, yeah. that's awesome. That because as, as a health coach, your products really do like align with what we talk about. Um, in the beginning, when you were talking about what made you want to make natural products, right? Well, it's the same thing when we talk to people about what they eat, you know, you try to make the best choices possible. And I've even uh, talked to clients about, Hey, if you can't, if, if you can't get, the whole food and fix fix it yourself what you're buying at the store look at the label Mm -hmm. and if you can't pronounce it on the label Mm -hmm. find something else (laughs) because Mm -hmm. it's probably not going to be that good for you if if the the more ingredients it has and the more things that you can't pronounce we try to stay away from those Mm -hmm. so that's it's very similar to what what you're talking about with putting the products like on our skin because our skin absorbs these things too. Mm -hmm. It goes into our body. So uh, kind of wrapping up here, um, are there any future developments that you'd like our listeners to know about? (laughs) We do. We we absolutely do. We're like, we're we're, 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 we're fighting over the microphone. Everyone's so excited to answer the question. We're fighting over the microphone over here. Uh, And and as the uh, initial guinea pig, I've got superpower strength from all the test products initially. And so I've I've, I've grabbed the microphone from all of them. And uh, I can say that, yeah, the girls have been working on this bioplastic. We do think that that's going to be. It hasn't no, been not that long. five years. Six years. No, we've been doing it for a while, but we're just starting to get back into it. Yeah, because we 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 I bought Naya wanted this National Geographic magazine where we were at the grocery store and mm-hmm. it, it had a, an article about how plastic is filling not only the landfills but the oceans. Yeah. And like, yeah. yeah, just these horrendous pictures of of um, people picking up trash on you know ocean fronts in various uh, countries yeah. and, and, the, and the damage is doing to the the, the, the the life in the oceans and she was just mm-hmm. like that we, we really need to uh, we're, we're contributing to that because we have product 
that is packaged in plastic. And she was like, we, I don't, I don't want our business to be about that any longer. And mm. so we were like trying to figure out ways to get away from plastic. It is incredibly hard mm -hmm. uh, to get away from plastic because the glass, you mm -hmm. know, it's, it's fragile. Uh, Zuri is like the clumsiest of, of us four. And <laughs> It's not my fault. I'm living and falling so and we, That's not my fault. That's not how I was doing. Right. So we try not to keep as much glass around here, uh, at least until Zuri's clumsiness uh, wanes. That's glass too. There, so there is some glass that she hasn't yet to break in the shop. Um, but in the meantime, we're trying to uh, create this bioplastic, uh, and and they've gotten it to stand. And so we are mm. continuing to develop that and, and test that. And so we're hoping that within the next few months, if we continue on the trajectory we're on, that we'll be able sure. to replace the plastic containers we've got with this degrading. And it's all and it's still stuff that you can find in your kitchen. We're talking about That's cassava. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. yeah. This cassava is tapioca starch is vinegar is vinegar. It's, 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 it's literally right now the the list of ingredients is literally only four and you wow. can get every ingredient from your grocery store. That's how degradable it is. I want everyone to, you know, understand is that, you know, I, I really believe that these girls are going to go above and beyond just skincare. Like their, their creativity and, and vision is going, is beginning to go beyond just skin, <laughs> but like how do you create a, right. a, a truly sustainable business? Right. And it's not even just sustainable business. You you guys are really looking at not sustaining your business, providing a great product, a natural product, but also sustaining the environment that we live in. That is fantastic. I Wow. I would love to have you guys back on for another episode once you kind of develop the, the, the bioplastic, if that's okay with you. Yeah. And once we've like gotten it to like work we have sure for it we have our um product in it we're gonna try and get a patent for it i love that i love that that is we wow and we'd love to announce that on the podcast we'd love to announce you know they've they've successfully done it and, and filed for a patent and announce that on the podcast we'd love to do that well when when it happens we will be there for it i i love that i love that any any last thoughts that anyone has? Any last thoughts, uh, Andre, Lee, Naya, Zuri? Any any last thoughts you'd like to leave our listeners with? I think we're good on this end. I appreciate it, um, you guys. It has been it has been wonderful to talk to you again. I, I truly appreciate you being part of our our podcast and this being our spotlight series. I look forward to uh, following up with the the bioplastics, and we will definitely help you make that announcement. Um, everybody, this has been uh, the, the Spotlight Series. This has been the Honey Bunny Boutique. Um, you can, Oh, you know what? Before we wrap up, I'm so sorry. Can you go ahead and put uh, how our listeners can reach? Right. Check us out at honeybunny.boutique. That's our website. Um, Facebook is at love underscore honey bunny. And also our Instagram page, which is love underscore honey bunny. I always okay. get mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I will make sure to uh, put those as a as a written text as well. With Please the do. Yeah, we appreciate it. Thank you for having us. Bye. Bye. Well, you guys, thank you so much. Uh, it, it's been a pleasure. I appreciate you being on, on the podcast. Uh, once again, this has been our Spotlight Series. This is the Honey Bunny Boutique with the Buyers family. And we will see you all next time.